all of you welcome back to yet another project video in this project you're going to build your first ever ai code assistant which will structure the entire folder in a proper systematic way which you can use it to launch your application just like lovable and bolt so let me give you a complete walkthrough that what are the feature and functionality we have included and how we have designed the entire architecture for this particular application so when the user will come back here this is how they will find the interface where they can ask the question and they can generate the code and it's going to generate in a proper file structure so here i have asked all the question and i got all the response so this is the structure we are following on the left hand side we have the navigation you can able to see your chat you can come back here and you can see all the project which you have created if you want to create a new project you can simply click here and you can create a new project that's all the project which you will find so simply go back to the project section and then you will find all the resources all the architecture which you have designed which you can save in the project so that's what we have here you will find the entire structure the navigation so if you want to clear all the chat you can simply click on this clear chat and it's going to clear the chat if you want to export this chat in a json format so you can import in any other code assistance you can do that you can simply click on this and it's going to export the entire chat component the next one we have is the hide preview so you can simply click here and it's going to hide the preview section and it's going to show the preview section so all the research all the code structure which you're going to save in the file that's all you went preview then we have the change api key so we are using openai for having all the code assistance so you have to simply provide your api key if you want to change you can simply provide here and you can save it so let's click on the save and here you will find all the details about the chat which you have done and where we are storing so all this information the chat we are storing in the local environment and you can see our api is successfully connected so all the question now let me give you every single thing in action that how you can able to ask your question so i can come back here i can say create a to do app and hit enter our a is going to be think and it's going to generate the entire folder and file structure including the structure so we can simply utilize those code and you can use it in our code editor so just wait cloud ai is going to give the response so here you can see we are starting getting the response that how you have to build this particular ai how you can create a repository how you can go to that specific repository what are the files you have to create which model we are following so we are following the react and is it writing the code for it so just wait this is the first component we have created now we are working on the second component which is app.js and then we have to simply start the application and here you will find the complete code for our application including all the commands so we are following a proper systematic structure which you find in most of the low code platform like lovable bolt cloud this is the same architecture we follow and you're going to inject it and you can have the application live in the same way you can build any type of architecture you can ask any question and you can able to have the preview so for example i can simply select the chat model and there i will find all the code which is generated by the AI model so I can simply select and I can have the code that what exactly it is and if I want to copy I can simply copy and I can use it in my project if I come back here I can select that how it's written and I can simply copy and I can simply use it in my project in the same way you can ask any type of question for example I want to create uh, let's say hit enter and it's going to create the snake game for you so just wait our AI model is thinking and it's going to give you the response including with the code so the architecture we are following is the most important thing this particular architecture you can able to scale the application you can build your entire container in which you can simply inject the code to have the live preview you can do that you will find that we are generating the html code and in which we're going to simply use our javascript to have the feature of our snake game And here you will find that we got all the code for our snake game game and you can simply select that copy and you can start using in your project so this one is a really powerful project which will help you to understand that how you can build multi-layer architecture to structure the proper file and you can inject that into the web container to have the live preview this is the same architecture all the low code platform follow when it's come to a coding assistance so i hope you have understood that how this entire project will work now you can come back here you will have in the chat box if you want to create a new project you can simply click on this new and you can type snake game click on this create and you will have a new project right up here now if i want to store this information in my project so i'll simply select that one and i can come back here and i can have the live preview so I'll simply come here, click on this add and the code is added. So later I can do the research and I can simply take this to the next level and include in my project. 
So that's what we'll have. That's how I can able to add it. I can come back here. I can see this is the live preview section we have. If I come back to the snake, then I will have the information. I can click here and it will be added successfully. So this one is really powerful. I hope you have understood. In the same way, you can create multiple projects. If I say, let's say, happy, you can give whatever name you want and you can have the project. And you can toggle between all the project which is there. Or you can simply come back here in the chat and then you will have all the details. So that's how you can able to ask the question and you can simply have the preview and you can utilize it in the project. Now, let me show you the clear. So I can simply click on this clear chat and here the chat is clear. Right now, we don't have anything right up here. So I can simply come back here. You will find if I go nothing in here because I have cleared the chat and all of this information we are storing in our local environment. So I can come back here. I can say create a next JS project and hit enter. Our A is going to be think and it's going to generate the entire project architecture, including the code, create our project. So just wait, it will tell you which version. Getting all of these details that how you have to navigate, how you have to create the page, how you can simply launch it. That's all the structure, all the thing which you can able to ask related to the coding. So just wait and you will find that this is the architecture. We have got it. You can select here and you can have the preview of the command, which you want to save it. If you want to save it, just click on the save. You want to save it, click on the save and it will be saved successfully. So that's how you can able to have the chat. Now, if you want to export this chat model, you can click here, export chat and the chat is exported in the JSON file, which you can simply use it. Here we have the JSON file. Let's close this one. If you want to hide this preview section, you can click on hide and it will be hidden. You can click here. If you want to change the API, you can click here and you can provide your new open AI key. So you can simply provide and you can save it. This project is 100% responsive for all the screen sizes. It's really powerful. You can see this is the question we have asked. You can click here and you will have this navigation. You can go back to different section. That's really powerful. That's really powerful. If you want to come back here, go back to the project section, there you will find all the project which you have created and you can simply select those project and you will have the details. You can simply select the project and you will have the details. You can simply ask the question, create to do app hit enter and it's going to create your to do app so i hope you have understood that what exactly you're going to develop this project will teach you that how you have to build any kind of SaaS model related to the coding assistant just like lovable bold and it will have the same infrastructure to the fold and file structure the code designing and how you are passing the instruction to the ai model because that one is very important to generate a desirable code into a desirable files, you have to pass down the entire structure format of the query to the AI model. So it's going to generate and give the response accordingly. That's what you're going to learn in this particular project. And there you will have that we have the complete code for the game. You can simply select and you can have the preview. You can click here and you can save it. You can come back here or can you have the preview of the code? It looks absolutely fine. So I hope you have understood that what are the feature and functionality we are providing in this particular project. Now, let me provide you all the assets which you need to develop this application, including the final source code. So you can start following the complete project straight away. Now to get the assets and the final source code, you can come back to the blockchain coder, type the blockchain coder. Here you will find all the resources which you need to develop this application. And we have already built more than 95 plus projects. So you can simply log in, come back to the source code section, and then you will find all the projects we have developed on our channel. So we have more than 95 projects, which you can have a look. So come back here, click on this recent project, and here you will find all the projects we have. This is the advanced AI assistant, which you can check. And this is the one which you have to simply click in which you will find all the startup files. So click here in the get startup file. It will take you to get up and here you can able to follow the complete architecture we are following and what are the technology we are utilizing. So make sure to check the packages and file on the folder and file structure. You can simply click here and clone the repository or you can download the entire startup file so we can start coding straight away. Now let me show you how you can do the setup once you will get the final source code. So come back here, take the final source code and you will give your valuable contribution to my team to bring more tutorial like this. Once you will take the final source code, you will get the zip file. Make sure to extract the zip file and you will get this particular folder in which you will have the complete source code of the project which you have seen in the demo. So make sure to install zip extractor in your laptop, in your computer, then you can able to extract this particular folder. And this is the folder you have to open in your VS code. So let's click on this VS code 
and I'll come back here in the open and click on the desktop and I will have this one drag and drop in the project. Close this one. Let's make on the big screen. And now let me give you a complete folder and file structure. We have design and how we have structured the entire project. So the very first thing we have in this is the pages in which you will find that it has the two pages app.js which is our global configuration for the CS and the context and the next one we have is the index page here we have all the logic we have designed for our application including with the API verification local storage data and making the call to our open AI so this is the huge code we have coded it's a single page application so you don't need too much this is the only page in which we have the complete source code of the project so just keep it as it will to make any changes. Every single thing is dynamic. So let's close this one. This is the page. The next one we have is the public. So this is the logo which I have given. You can change with your logo, but give the name as it is. So it's going to reflect in all the places. Then we have the style in which we have written all the custom styling. We are using Telvin CSS for the styling purpose. So just keep it as it is. Don't make any changes. First test the way I'm telling you after that do the experiment and try to understand the architecture. So close this one. This is the get ignore. Keep it as it is. Don't make any changes. Every single thing is absolutely fine here. Now come back here. Go back to the next config. Just keep it as it is. Every single thing is pretty good. Come back to the packages and file. And this one is really powerful. So we are following the stable model. So no matter when you are building this project after five years, 10 years, it will work absolutely fine. As long as you follow this video correctly and use the exact version, every single thing would be working absolutely fine. We have the post CSS. Keep it as it is. We have the readme file in which I have all the details about this particular project, including some important links. So how you can generate your API key from OpenAI. You can simply check this particular project we have. You can check this multi currency ISO DAB we have. So you can have a look all the details which is already given and we have the Telvin CSS where we have the configuration for our Telvin. So this is the complete folder and file structure. It's very small, but it has a really powerful structure. We are following in this particular project. Now, all you have to do is to simply install the packages. So open up your terminal. Now check your node version first. So I have the latest node version. There is no problem. I'm going with the latest one. But if you have the old version, you can go with that. But I would suggest you to have the latest version for this particular one. So let's simply type npm, I hit enter, and it's going to do the installation of the entire package we have in this particular project. So this will take a little bit of time. Just wait. Soon the installation will complete and you will have all the packages, the node module in your project. So just wait. So finally, we're done with the installation and we are getting a couple of command and couple of warnings. Simply ignore this one. It's not that important because we are focusing on stability and using the old and the new packages for better stability. So I'll simply clear up my terminal and all you have to do is to simply start the application type npm run dev our application is started on localhost 3000 you can simply copy that one now and you can see that i have all of these chat models this data is reflecting because i'm storing all of this data in my local storage so what i will do i'll simply come back here go back to my local storage and i'm going to clear all the data so simply click on this clear site data and now you can simply give a quick reload and you will find that all of this data is gone and here you have to provide your open ai key so user can provide this open AI key and this open AI key we are storing in the local storage. So user can interact, you can add multiple business model on top of it. Instead of taking the open AI key from the user, you can set as an environment variable and you can allow the user to answer the question. In that way, what will happen? You can charge commission, you can charge business model. So that's what we have discussed in this particular project that how you can charge commission, how you can charge and sell as a subscription business model by providing the user to pay for the subscription and they can ask all the question. But this is one of the model we are following. So what I will do, I'll simply come back here. Now to get the open AI key, we can come back here and here I've already provided you the link. So we'll make sure to minimize this one, don't delete, otherwise the application will stop. So I'll minimize this one. And here we have this particular URL. This is the URL which you can simply copy, come back here, close this one, open a new tab, hit enter and you will come back to open AI API key. Make sure to create your account, verify your account. And right now open AI is not giving you the $5 credit. So make sure to take $2, $3 credit so you can easily be able to test this application. So I already have, I have enough fund in my open AI account, like close to $100 I have. So I can easily be able to generate a new open AI key. So make sure to take like at least two to $3 open AI credit. You can easily be able to test all of this feature. So I'll simply delete this one. And I'm going to create a new open AI key. So I've deleted to create a new one. Click here. I'll say chat AI. I want to have all the feature. Click on this create API key and it's going to create the API key for me. So I'll simply copy that one and that's what I'm going to use it. So make sure to create your API key. Take one or two dollars credit and you can easily test this application.
So I'll simply come back here. Now I can simply paste my API key. I got it. Now I can click on this save and continue. And once I will click that, my API key is connected successfully. You will find the options are open. Now I'm ready to ask questions. So first I will click here and create a project. So I'll click here, call this this create project and here I have created I can simply come back here and I can click and ask the question so I'll say create a, or you can type all the question which you have in your mind the kind of code you want to generate with our AI code a system so it's going to think your prompt and it's going to generate the entire architecture with all the necessary requirement which you need to have to have the feature so I'll simply say no you can see we are getting the response it's taking HTML, but you can give your specific command that which framework you want to use it. So this is the simplest command I have given. And here we got the simple landing page, but you can give more brief details and you can generate more brief code. So here you will find this is the code we have got and we have the preview we can simply copy and we can start using in our project. So this one is really powerful. Again, I'm telling you, this will teach you that how you can structure the folder and file structure and the structure of a low code platform. If you want to provide the user the preview option instead of code, you can create a container which you can inject here and user will have the preview of the code which is going to generate right in the browser. You can add that feature. It's a really powerful. So this is how the user can do the setup and execute the project once you will take the final source code. So in the same way, you can ex simply export that. Once we export, you can simply click here and you will find that this is the code we have exported and you can start continuing and working on the project. That's how you can do it. Let's come back here. If you want to hide the preview, you can simply hide it or you can change it. If you want to change your API key, you can simply provide the new API key and you can simply give that command and save it. So it's really powerful. So I hope you have understood that what exactly you have got and what are the things we have included in this particular project and what exactly you're going to learn in this particular project. So if you have any question, any doubt, do let me in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help you in that. Make sure to come back here and take the final source code and the startup file and try to follow the complete project when I'm going to release on the channel. So make sure to follow it. And if you really want to master complete blockchain development, then check this particular Welcome. course. This will teach you every single thing which you have to know, including the front-end development, back-end development, and DAV development. So you're going to master solid programming language, Web3 ecosystem, complete NFT marketplace. Then you're going to learn about the important course like HTML, CSS, Telvin, all the courses you're going to have. Then you're going to learn about the security and optimization. And you're going to build the global API, which you can include into any business model. So check this one as well. So that's the only thing I want to cover in this video. If you have any question, any doubt, do let me in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help in that. Have a wonderful. Bye-bye.